it's hard not to have an appreciation for vintage style, and today I'm trying my hand at a grunge beauty inspired look. Remember the 80s and 90s? I sure as hell don't, but I'm bringing it back either way. This tutorial is a collaboration with the gorgeous Jay the Libra. She is the queen of grunge looks herself, and she'll be showing you guys some grunge inspired hairstyles you can actually wear with the makeup look I'm doing here. I'm going to begin by applying a base. This is Sigma's Persuade, and I know I use it a lot, but it is a favorite of mine. And yes, my eyes are a bloodshot because my insomnia has been so bad lately, but I wanted to film regardless since my awesome little brother is letting me use his Canon DSLR. With a Sigma E25, I'm going to buff Sable from the Lorac Pro into the crease. And just to let you guys know, I'll be using the original Lorac Pro palette throughout this tutorial. Who doesn't love this palette? It's a classic. Now taking the color Slate, which is a shimmery gray tone blue, I'm going to apply this to the entire eyelid. And holy hell, I'm making a mess. I find that some of the shadows in this palette are super messy, lots of fallout here, but I'll clean it up after. That's why I don't recommend doing your face makeup until after you use this palette because, well, I'm a good example. I'm a little messy today. I'm picking up Sable again with the E25 and I'm going to smoke the crease a little bit more to ensure that everything is blended and there aren't any harsh or messy lines. To deepen the outer C or outer corner, I'm going to apply a little bit of this deep purple color and just ensure that everything is once again blended nice and evenly after I apply it. This will just add more dimension to the look. The brush I'm using is the Sigma E70. So to line my lower lash line, I just use the color Slate once again with a small brush and later on I just smoke the line out to further bring out that grungy appearance. For a pop of color, I applied Garnet in the waterline. It's sort of a coppery brass color. It's really beautiful and it gives you just the right amount of color without it kind of um, clashing too much with the color slate. Now, I already filled in my brows using this Too Faced Bulletproof Brow Gel from Too Faced. Wait a minute, I just said Too Faced twice. <laughs> Sorry about that. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara and I always have the products I use listed in the down bar so if you miss something or my ass is being too lazy to list it, just go and read. You lazy people, go read. To prime my face, I'm using this Smashbox primer that is also designed to diminish the appearance of blemishes, of which I have many. And I'm just going to use my favorite foundation at the moment because it gets along well with my dry skin. This is the NARS Sheer Glow in Stromboli. And I'm using my Sigma Special Anniversary Elf 80 brush to stipple and buff it into the skin. To highlight my face and disguise these horrid dark circles since I cannot sleep overnight, I'm using L'Oreal's True Match Concealer in light and I'm creating a triangular shape under the eyes and also going down the bridge of my nose, the chin and forehead and I'm just going to blend it all out really good. Now I just got the Anastasia Contour Kit and I am officially in love guys. I love this thing. I'm using the Banana Highlighter to set my under eye concealer and being olive undertone I find that this is just my perfect contour kit. There's actually, I think, two versions of this kit. There's one for darker skin tones as well, so if you guys want a really good contour set, contour and highlight set, I should say, definitely invest in this one. I absolutely love it. It's really great. And from that same kit, I'm taking Java, and this is the 301 flat contour brush from the new Real Techniques brush line from Ulta. And this is the only brush I have bought from their new line so far, but I definitely want to try some of the others because this one is just perfect for contouring and blending. It's my favorite flat contour brush. So, and also to contour the nose, I just used a small fluffy blending brush I got off Amazon. I will be doing a more in-depth foundation contour highlight routine for you guys pretty soon, so just stay tuned for that. I know that I usually kind of rush through my foundation and all that stuff whenever I'm doing like a tutorial because I just don't want it to get too repetitive if that makes sense. So to set everything in place, I just use the Derma Blend Professional Setting Powder. For the lips, I really wanted to go monotone, so I used Jordana's Lip Liner and Rocky Rose to line and fill my lips in. 
Then I used Max Styled in Sepia, which is a brown color that has gray undertones. It's really beautiful. And that's just my brother goofing around. <laughs> I'm blaming him for causing me to get lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> And here my mom is just checking my makeup to make sure everything looks good for the camera. I love getting her opinion sometimes because she has a real eye for things. Alright, that's the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I'm really loving my new filming setup. I'm still trying to get the hang of the camera and all that, but I think I have the ring light figured out, so let me know what you guys think. I'm personally really proud of how my videos look now, but I love hearing your feedback as well. This camera doesn't wash me out like my camcorder does, which is so awesome. So I'll see you all in my next video. I got lots of plans for 2015. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share my videos. I love you all, and stay foxy.